What is going on guys, Judo Sloth here and welcome to today's Clash of Clans video where I wanted to update you on exactly what I've been doing within the game because it's been a good week or so since I've brought you a Let's Play style episode. So we're going to show you exactly how I am farming at the moment, jump on over to the builder's base and do a few attacks. But first of all, I do have a Town Hall 10 versus Town Hall 10 3 star attack from our latest war here at Elite Gaming which was definitely worthy of showing so I've been hanging out in elite gaming I've been on my hero upgrade week from red elite now basically that just means I've had one of my heroes upgrading it is the grand warden that we got to max now I was hoping to get the queen upgraded this week as well but just didn't manage to get that dark elixir farmed been quite busy at work and things as well but I will show you we flipped across to the miners in order to farm that dark elixir and it is working pretty well. If we go through the attack log there you can see some brilliant loots bringing in 7,000 dark elixir from that one there was absolutely brilliant. Alongside the loot bonus that was actually 8,000. So let's get into it then guys with this town hall 10 versus town hall 10 three star attack and it was pretty special we versed in a just a random spin of dark avengers one of the cwl premier clans i think they are but very fierce competitors fantastic war but i wanted to show you this three star anyway and it, mine was just dip attacks really i didn't you know no need to show them but ash pack here one of the many amazing attackers here at elite gaming again i have so much respect for these guys he comes in and absolutely crushes this base with the Hog Riders. So just starting out with a few troops at the top there to take out them buildings where, you know, they're free percentage. They Meanwhile, we don't have to go over them heavy buildings at the end and waste some time. And then you can see that we're coming in directly towards the Inferno Tower at the west here. Now at Town Hall 10, again, I drill it into you guys. The Inferno Towers are your main focus, you need to have a plan for that. So notice how the wizard at the top not only took out that Dark Elixir storage in order to help, it actually created a funnel in itself where we can push forward with the Valkyries. So we have the Queen that's nipped into that little gap, she's going to get that Inferno Tower and the Valkyries are going to come forward, take out the enemy Archer Queen, cut out an area of this base, but most importantly take out the CC as well. The balloon especially could be devastating to the hog. So here they come. Nice surgical deployment from up in the north. And really what you need to make sure when you're using the hog riders is depending on the base design but nine times out of ten you need to try and directly target that second infernal tower so i try and get the first one down as we did in this one nice use of the freeze spell so that the heals can be used effectively on the hog riders and they're on top of that infernal tower already by the time the freeze comes out and then we have that other spell pre-healed over the top ready to boost them hog riders back up so sometimes it might be appropriate to use a rage spell to push them hog riders onto the inferno tower in this case it was actually the freeze spell that we decided to take very nicely used because the hog riders got onto it very effectively and then from this point there is a wizard tower in the middle with that deadly spot which could contain giant bombs but as you can see there's already quite a few gone off there is a lava hound just popping around there but that's not going to do any damage to the hog riders the balloon which could have dropped and done splash damage is already down and we also have them clean up troops just moving around the outside the hog riders are pretty good at clean up but you know, if they all go down and you only have a couple left, it can take them a while. So don't forget about them cleanup troops, guys. Again, amazing three-star there by Ashpack. Let's jump on over to the builder's base just so we can see how my progress is going. And then we'll jump back across here, show you how, my, how I am farming, which is using the miners in order to get that dark elixir. So I have changed up my base design gradually upgrading my base here we have the cannon which i'm getting to level six i am just going to go ahead and dive into attacks it'd be pretty pointless to come over here and not show you any attacks brand new builders hall seven guys make sure to let me know in the comments what you think it's certainly exciting with, with the developer build i have been able to play the dropship you will have seen the gameplay just a couple of days ago 
and certainly the live stream was my favorite so far. What do you think, guys? Watching that stream, the meta, in terms of them very specific Barch style attacks, was just absolutely brilliant. And it really means that I need to get practicing on that because I've became too reliant on the baby dragons and minions. But let's just dive into it. I have changed my base up, as you can see. Got this one sent to me, and it looks pretty good. I've faced a similar base very, you know, very often. So we're going to go ahead and try it. And the first guy here you can see is indeed upgrading to Builders Hall 7. Will we come across one, guys? We will just have to wait and see. Now, he's got things lined up whereby the crushers in order to take them out and send the battle machine in i'd have to hit the air bomber and the roaster at the same time i'm thinking would could potentially come in with the baby dragons from this side but i'm just a bit worried that the firecracker would be in the way and hit them baby dragons before they could take down the crusher but we're just going to try it anyway guys so we're going to spread the baby dragons on this side make sure that them archer towers are tanked by one of the baby dragons and really making sure to get that second baby dragon in because they can get free percentage so you can see we are going to get the archer tower on the right which is great stuff the baby dragons have moved that little bit closer together on the left hand side oh, we didn't funnel that um army camp which wasn't great so whilst that archer tower is tanking we'll get another baby dragon into that double cannon which is obviously very very useful to get down in terms of when i want to send the battle machine in now really what i want to do here is get this crusher and the tesla down so i am going to put this in and then as the air bomber is distracted we'll bring another baby dragon in towards that tesla to try and get that down once the crusher goes down I'll then go ahead and send my battle machine in. Now the battle machine in the middle here is going to start taking some damage from the cannon at the very south. So I'm going to put him in just slightly to the opposite side so that when he comes forward, he'll hopefully be out the way of that cannon. I'm quite confident he's going to get that builder's hall so we can start bringing in some baby dragons at the bottom here. That archer tower is distracted with the battle machine so we can get these two in now i am risking bringing a baby dragon in at the bottom here whilst we have that firecracker shooting at it but i really want to try and get that double cannon down because if we don't guys it is going to mean that as soon as the battle machine gets to that crusher it is going to be game over so we've got another ability there hopefully we can get this double cannon down i'm not sure we're going to get it guys oh we just about clutched it but we need to be able to get this and i don't think we are going to do it guys so there you have it we just oh can we get it can we get it come on battle machine oh he got it down but he's gonna go down to that roaster i think that's about as good as we could have got to the three star okay guys so a little bit of technical issues mean that we lost the connection there video just cut out on me but let's show you the attack from our opponent testing out the base which is the brand new base which i've just built and as you can see, he's pretty much just circling it with baby dragons. Now that is never great for this type of base because there's so much damage in the middle. You can take the outside quite easily, but the baby dragons are never going to take out the middle. Just look at the firecrackers, the air bombers there, the archer tower. They're all just shredding through them baby dragons. And unfortunately, this guy just doesn't get the crushers down enough. He gets one of them down, gonna try and send the battle machine in from that side, I'm sure, as he does. But there's a giant cannon, an archer, the roaster, still there's bombs and things in that area as well. So he's gonna get distracted with the guard post troops and then go down, just because there's so much damage in the middle there. So as you can see, this base is working relatively nicely. So. What we'll do is dive back across into the home base and then we will show you some of the attacks with the mass miners. But let's get into the minor attacks then. So this is how I do the mass miner attacks. Let's find a base where we can get some decent dark elixir here first. 4,000, but realistically, can we take that? I'm not convinced that we... I think we could get the miners into the middle there. Could we get all of that Dark Elixir and even get the win? You know what? It's not too bad of a base. I'm just a bit worried that it is. It's very highly upgraded. 
And these mo these infernal towers are right next to that dark elixir. They're going to be shredding through the miners. I think they might have done all right there, but I do want to show you a victory here as well. I don't want to show you just an attack where you just get the dark elixir. Now, that might be worth it. It all depends on how much dark elixir there is, what you're trying to get. Sometimes I do go in, but I normally try and get that bonus as well. So this one, we have 4,000 dark elixir. Again, it's a quite a well-upgraded base, but we can hopefully get in there and get that a little bit easier. So let's try this then with, let's bring the queen on the right-hand side with some healers in order to help protect her. Then we'll bring the king. Once he is tanking for some of the buildings, we'll get the wizards in. Can we snipe any buildings off? Don't know why that archer tar targeted the dark elixir storage there. That was a little bit crazy. Queen already starting to take a lot of damage. King going in. And then let's bring the miners in. Hopefully try and protect the queen that little bit here as well. In with the Grand Warden as well. And then we can hopefully bring in the heal spells for these miners. And then as they move forward, you want to try and press the Grand Warden's ability. I'm not quite sure whether he's in range of the queen, but there is the ability. Let's get the poison spell down to help the miners through. I'm not convinced there's any CC troops. Yes, there is. I thought I was within range, but unfortunately they come out, and that poison spell means I've used it on the skeleton trap, and the giants are actually going to stop my miners here in their tracks, which means we might struggle to get the 50%. The queen is on the outside, but she's going to go down to the, the enemy queen. They're onto the town hall, and they have indeed taken it down, but will we get the 50%? So we did manage to funnel them right there into the dark elixir which is what we wanted we got the storage in that of the town hall as well we didn't get the 50 percent due to that poison fail but luckily we got that town hall which means we come away from there with pretty much a 5,000 dark elixir profit because we only use that 100 for the poison spell so that will wrap it up for this one guys i hope you have enjoyed it we'll be back on some more videos pretty regularly from this point I've been your host, Judo Sloth, and until next time, peace out, guys.